Hello friends, welcome back to Evel's Tech. Well, today I wish to share the experience that I recently had while trying to install Hyper-V inside the virtual machine that is running in the VMware workstation. Okay. When I try to install the Hyper-V on my Windows Server 2012 R2, I get this error. Okay. The error says Hyper-V cannot be installed, Hypervisor is already running. This is the error that I see. Now, this error is expected as I am trying to install hypervisor inside another hypervisor. That means I am already running VMware hypervisor on my Windows 7 machine and then I am trying to install hypervisor in the virtual machine that is running on this hypervisor. Okay. Now, I need to do this because I have to do, I have to perform few tests and for that I need to set up lab. Right. So, as a workaround, I will stop this virtual machine and then we need to edit the configurations of this virtual machine file okay in vmware the virtual machine configuration files are usually uh, the name of your virtual machine dot vmx okay so my virtual machine name is hyper v host that's the virtual machine configuration i open it in the notepad okay and these are the three parameters that i need to add to this virtual machine in order to enable the virtualization or other hypervisor inside this vm I click save once that is done then I go to the settings of this virtual machine I click edit and then I, I need to change the settings of the processor all right so this is the one that I'm talking about you click edit select processor and then enable Intel VT AMD V and CP performance and then start the virtual machine as you do okay uh, I will quickly fast forward this video so that I can show you the installation and expect it not to get the same error again. Alright friends, uh, my virtual machine is back. Let me open the server manager, add roles, I will add the Hyper-V feature. Okay. and i should not get the error there we go we did not receive this same error that we experienced last time because now uh, this is because of the settings or the changes that we have made in the configuration file of this virtual machine right so again i will fast forward the video so that the installation completes and then i can open the hyper-v manager just to confirm that the hyper-v is installed Okay. Right friends, my virtual machine is back. Um, let me open the Hyper-V manager and confirm that Hyper-V is successfully installed. Okay, so that's the Hyper-V manager. Uh, let me connect to local computer and yep, there we go. That's the Hyper-V manager successfully installed on VMware Workstation virtual machine. Okay friends, that is all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please hit like and yes, please do subscribe to Everett's Tech. Thank you once again. Goodbye.